Okay, the farmer has uh, removed uh, the mess, or the muck out the ditches uh, down here and down there. Not found much, but uh, there's a bit of iron going on. That bit there. That bit there. And there's a big piece here. It's uh, on top of an ant's nest, so I'm not going to disturb the ants, but uh, it certainly doesn't look like uh, farming stuff at all. I presume iron was made uh, and used in the V2 rockets. Uh, I presume, I don't know, let me know, please. I'm going to leave this here. I might take it another time, but uh, it's uh, helping the ants. Okay, uh, surface fine. Feature rocket, the rivet there. Good. Okay, nice neat hole. Look at this, this is pretty cool, the V2 people. Load of rice on it. Good show. Okay, here roughly uh, is where the V2 came down. That pile of soil, the farmer's great the soil off the top. That's where I found those two interesting pieces. This thing we've just dug up and I don't know if it's really told you it? Hopefully there's some marking on that. Okay. okay, small hole. Uh, we're going to use this of a uh, rocket. I hope it's got a stem on, but we won't. Okay, what you see on the table is the result of uh, nine months of hunting. Say hello to Lucy. There you are, there's Lucy. So yeah, nine months of hunting. Uh, where I go is a field and uh, where I found quite a few pieces, or obviously quite a lot. Some are tiny, some are not so tiny. And, uh, and I also have been lucky enough to access the, uh, a place where uh, the V2 uh, explosion hit a building and uh, that building was kind of like pushed into the ground and now they've made a new barn there so they've moved some of the topsoil which has revealed some other pieces okay so nine months not much to show for but uh, well actually it is well it may not be to you but <laughs> uh, anyhow so what should we start with uh, these things here the darkened stuff is has been treated in with olive oil because it decays. And see, obviously, that hasn't been treated. I like it. I like to n not treat it. Basically, this may be from there, but I'm not sure. Uh, from a V2. That may be from a V2, but I'm not sure. Okay, so what? Uh, so continuing. This is a strange piece because it's got a line down there. See that line? There's some nice markings on there. That may be from a V2, I'm not sure. Maybe from 
brass, solid brass. That big piece there, that's from a V2. Right, this was in the field, maybe from a V2. It looks like it's got a letter H on it, and that's green paint. This is from a V2. It's pretty. I've never found anything like that before. It's got blue paint on. And rivets. Don't know what part. This may be from a V2 as well. It's a long piece of aluminium. That there, on there. There's a rivet there. But I can't see any markings. There's very few markings on these pieces. That I had to treat that was all going all manky. Treated. Right, this is a pretty cool piece in that it's got two numbers on it a number two, a number two there, and strangely, it's got a number four on that side. This may be from a V2. farmer took the uh, ditch out and uh, this was in there. Uh, what else we got? This weird thing. I've got a video of me finding that in a field. Yeah, this may be from a V2 but probably not. Just guessing at that. That was in the... Uh, when the house got pulled down. What else we got? Not, not much more. Uh, pipe. Okay, this was uh, this hit the hit the house. It doesn't look like it's Vita, but uh, I'm pretty sure it is because when you scrape this metal, you get uh, really nice coloured aluminium. Is that from a V2? If anybody would uh, please comment, that'd be great on the video. See how it's been worked. Respect to the people that made this. Uh, so, I've almost finished now. Fortunately for you. Right, so you've seen this piece in a previous video and this has got that marking on see that marking? is it there? No. there it is see that Vermax stamp right so you've seen that before and so uh, just coming up to the final stuff uh, okay, so you've got these two bits which were found in the field, not didn't hit the house, but found in the field. I think roughly on the same day, it was kind of a little weird. Obviously a strange signal, so, uh, but the CTX works with that kind of stuff. I'm really enjoying that CTX 3030 by the way. So yeah, obviously V2, you can tell by the construction pretty much the same but this is the thing uh, not that piece but this piece here there we are you see that Fairmax stamp but this is all crushed so it's 
really difficult to get in there to see. And obviously you can't bend this without machines. I don't know what those pieces were for. Anyone knows what any of these pieces were for? That'd be very much of interest. So to summarise, you've got the blue paint on this. You've got green paint on this, which you're not, I'm not sure it is V2. Oh, actually, I forgot about this. Look at this. This has been confirmed as V2. Look at that inside there. Can't see a marking. Not rusty at all. And uh, one of my friends who's into V2s told me it was a capacitor, I think, or something like that for V2. Slightly heavy, not so heavy. Nice metal. Kind of like different metal to... Actually, no, it's probably... Aluminium. I don't know what's inside it. Hope it's not dangerous. <laughs> um, I'm glad I showed you that. So that, there you go then. So uh, I've got two pieces now that are stamped. This piece here. And I think it was this piece here. That could be stamped. And that's very strange. So there you go. Hope you've enjoyed uh, looking at the stuff. And... Uh, Please feel free to comment, and I always comment back, so, uh, and yeah, happy hunting, hope you find some gold or an amazing relic like this. Good luck, take care.